We're all honesty. We're outside the marquee ballroom here. We're about to play East Coast Emo Night, and uh, we're doing a little interview with Hidden Beats. We just released a new single called Cloud Chaser. Uh, behind the process, you know, it's uh, we've been working on the song for a little while now. Um, our own John and Colton there, they uh, engineered all of it themselves. Uh, we sent it down to San Francisco to Ben Hirschfield at Newtone. He did all the mixing and then it got shipped all the way over to New York in uh, Mike Callagian, Callahan. He did, he did all <laughs> the master. He did all the master work for it and uh, it sounds awesome. And we're, we're super stoked to share it. Okay. <laughs> So we got in touch with Ben Hirschfield. We were a huge fan of the mix he did on No Pressure's new LP. Um, so we contacted him just for shits and giggles and said, hey man, how much to mix a new stuff? We sent him all the demos and he was super into it. And uh, he basically told us how much it's gonna cost and we sent her all down the next day. It kind of like all came together really, really quickly as well. Like, you know, we had, we had like a, yeah, it was probably like a five minute phone call with him and just like spoke to him, he was super stoked. and. Yeah, we were really happy to work with him and just have something that's like gave the songs like the sound that we wanted them to have. Like we envisaged the sound for them, but we didn't think we could achieve that ourselves. So it was really good to have like such a good team to help us with that. So. Ben and Mike, they also mixed the entire new EP called Everyone You've Ever Known. Um, it's five tracks. Uh, basically, it's a storyline, so it goes from the first track right to the last, so it's best to listen in order. Uh, previously, we always mixed and mastered our own music. Uh, we just wanted to kind of go to the next level and, and work with some better industry professionals. And, you know, they, they definitely provided and, and they made all of our music sound way better than we thought it was, so super stoked on it. It all started in like in in the pandemic. Like me and the previous drummer, we'd like started like jamming a little bit in my basement. We had like some weird janky PA set up as well. Like it was nothing like professional at all. We had like a little tiny combo amp, and we were just trying to get back into music. We hadn't done it for a long time, and you know we, we were all in bands when we were younger. We were all hardcore kids, but we just thought we'd, we'd like delve into the pop punk world, and yeah, we just started writing a few songs. It all sort of came together, and. Then like we met Brandon and Brandon came on board. And then we met like like Colton and Chris came on board. And then recently like obviously we parted ways with our drummer and Matt's joined the band now and he's our new drummer. Okay. But yeah, like it's sort of grown organically over the past couple of years. And we started off with a few different songs that all sort of just like fit together. We released them on an EP and then this was much more like thought out, 
a lot a lot of time and like effort went into it so a lot more cookies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah we 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 sort of found our sound with like the first ep and found the found like the style that we wanted to sort of stick with and then we've gone more in that direction and sort of focused on it a bit more so the new ep and in its release sort of like marks a bit of a new chapter for us and just moving forward and, and shutting the door on the things that have happened in the past and you know the, the issues that we had and uh yeah i think we're, we're progressing more as a band for it and it's just helping us evolve moving forward so Our friend Sarah asked us to be on board. She's actually the host of Emo Night. Um, so she reached out to me, asked if we'd be interested in playing a live set. We were fucking down 100%. Um, yeah, it's it's usually just a DJ set, and they play older music, older emo music, some newer stuff. And uh, this time they want to do something a little bit different and, and have some live bands come down. So there's a little bit of yeah. everything here. There's uh, like a synth wave band, yeah. uh, uh, a metal band. There's us, and then there's uh, like a pop rock band that's playing. So yeah. and should, it should be different. I was going to say, it's like that amalgamation of old and new, right? Like emo night has always just been like, kind of like reminiscing right like people just like having fun reminiscing about the youth yeah, and like you know yeah, yeah. exactly right so it's nice that like sarah's taking that like initiative to be like we'll get some new bands that are new on the scene and that are like trying to sort of get onto that scene or get onto that ladder and just bringing them in and just like yeah really helping us like for especially for this like this coast i don't feel like there's a lot of people doing like the sort of old school sort of style pop punk that we're doing with like a bit more of a modern twist do you know what i mean so I'm not saying we're like an outlier, <laughs> but I definitely think that we're, you know, a little different to like some of the music that's around at the moment, which is cool because we're, we're trying to help like boost that scene as well. So hopefully we can sort of be like kind of like the found the founding guys to like help sort of like bring that up. And even like Chris's old band, Jabucto, was the same. So, yeah, it's nice to like sort of try and like get that energy back again and like growing again in Halifax and with a bit of a modern twist. Right. Sure. So, yeah. During the pandemic, the uh, the scene took a massive hit as yeah. kind of to be expected when something happens. And we're sort of, I think we were all sort of terrified that people weren't going to start coming out because they didn't want to be in tightly packed rooms. So this is really nice that Sarah is sort of taking the initiative to introduce people who may not go to these local shows, who may not want to go see a dozen bands that they don't necessarily know with people they don't know sort of bringing them into this world where it's comfortable, it's a bar, there's a DJ set, they're going to know some of the songs coming into yeah. it. Um, and it's just an overall fun environment. So it's really awesome that somebody like Sarah is in our scene and actively trying to sort of reinvigorate the scene. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And especially for people like us where like, I mean, you know, Chris, I guess, uh, aside, but like most of us haven't really been in the scene a whole lot in the, you know, past few years. So it's kind of like reintroducing us to Me, me, to me not at all. I only him, moved yeah, here three years entirely, ago, so yeah, but, not me, but, yeah. 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 We appreciate Hidden Beats uh, taking the time to come out and chat with us and, you know, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We just started a Facebook page. We don't really use it too much, but Instagram's the main way to get a hold of us. Send us an email if you want to book us. All Honesty CA on Instagram, and that's where you'll find us. Message us anytime. We're always down to chat and make some new friends and meet more musicians. And we got a new EP coming out July 26th called Everyone You've Ever Known, and it is probably some of the best stuff I've ever written over my 10 years of writing music. I agree. <laughs> <laughs>